Hey everybody, it's, uh, <clears throat> I think it's, what's today, Wednesday, I believe it is, November the 18th, yeah, it's November the 18th, and, um, I just got this in the mail today, this is a non-contact infrared thermometer, it, like I said in the last video, this is actually a very cheap one, this is, um, not, you know, the kind you would, uh, really sell for a lot, I got this for $20. It measures anywhere between, I think, negative 30, no, negative 27 and 230 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the same thing as negative 33 Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. So, that's actually right within the temperature range I need. Um, I'm trying to figure out how cold this is getting on the bottom and how hot it's getting on the top. To really know and understand how cold I need to get it, I need to compare it to something. A refrigerator. And you're about to see me do that in just a second. Okay. To get a good idea of how cold this should be, I'm just going to try to get a reading on the wall. It's about 38.9 degrees Fahrenheit. But um, one other important thing I need to know is how cold is the element itself? Wow, about 1.2 degrees. Wow, that's almost 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Right up there, of course, is all the elements that cool this thing. So, I've got a lot, I've got a really big challenge. If I want to get this thing to refrigerator temperature in here, i got to get the element, like, right around less or less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So... I'm working on that. It might take a little bit of ingenuity. It might take some work, but I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to see about how hot this is right here. This heat should rec should uh, represent the heat that's being pumped out of the middle of the cooler. And I'm getting about 116 degrees right around here. I can touch that and be like, yeah, that's pretty darn hot. And um, all this does is it represents the heat that's being pumped out of the main part of the cooler. I'm going to see if I can try to get a reading of the inside of the cooler in just a second. And that's the really important part. This is going to be difficult because i got one hand on the camera and one hand on this. Let me see. So this is my monster, right up in here. I'm going to see if I can get a reading off of this. And it's saying about 45 degrees is about how cold that is. I've gotten it down to 39 degrees at one point. Um, so that's about how cold that is in there. I've still got a little bit of water in there. I drained most of it out because it started to leak. But, uh, yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get this colder. What I might do is get a more powerful fan um, to fan off this huge heat sink right here. Um, I might also, hell, if I get desperate enough, I'll even get a bigger heat sink. And I, I don't know, this is... You can't get much bigger than this without going into, like, a $50 range for a heat sink. I got lucky and found this on eBay for pretty cheap, and I'm really happy that I did. So I'm going to see if I can stick with this. Um, a bigger fan. I'm trying to see if I can get something that pumps out at least, um, at least 100 cubic feet per minute. Powerful fan. An alternating current fan, of course. And, um... I'm going to see if I can do that. That way it'll pump more heat out of this faster, which will help cool this off faster. Um, one other interesting thing is, um, I don't know if you noticed, whenever, whenever I took this off, there's a lot of water drops in here. What happens is that whenever the humid air from this water comes up and touches that heat sink, it uh, gets so cold that it condensates and drips back down into this water, which is actually kind of cool. It's, it's having this little uh, 
it's kind of like convection, but I don't really know if it's a good word for it. It it just the humidity just goes up to the heat sink, touches it, and when it gets so cold it drips back down as cold water droplets. So it's like it's constantly raining cold water into this the water in here. Which is something I never even imagined. I didn't even think about that before I built this. But that's what it's doing. It's raining cold water in here. And um, if I can keep that going on at an even colder temperature, it'd be better. Uh, one other thing I did, I uh, took this caulking gun and I put caulking silicone all around the edges here. I removed all that crappy electrical tape. And um, hopefully that'll stay for a while and it'll, you know, seal the temperatures pretty well. And that's all I've got for today. And I'll see you later with that. Um, if anybody wants to offer, I'm really dead serious about this. Any kind of suggestions I can get will be appreciated. Anything. Just any kind of help I can get would be very, very, very appreciated. Thanks.